Hey friends, I'm Mel and welcome to my kitchen. On my channel, I like to share grocery hauls with you and I have not had a haul in two weeks now. I've just not had to go to the store. Here you'll also find lots of recipes, what's for dinner videos on Sunday nights. I like to share quick and easy meals for busy families that you can get done quick without a lot of cleanup or headache. I just like to make things a little bit simpler on myself and I like to share that with you too. This day was a slow morning for me. We don't get a lot of those around here and I just got to leisurely hang out a while, went and picked up my grocery order. I didn't have all my work done really, but I was pretty well caught up and I just took advantage of that. So I hope you enjoy this slow roll grocery haul. <laughs> It was a good one, about $170 something dollars from Kroger's, and of course I'll always put the prices up on the screen for you. They'll look a little weird, some of them, because I had some good digital coupons. But anyway, I just invite you to sit back, relax, grab you a cup of coffee or your sweet tea, and check out my groceries. Here is a hundred and seventy something dollars of Kroger haul. This is stuff that will last us a good while. It's not all going to be eaten this week, but I did need to get a stock back up on chips and snacks that go in lunches and that kind of stuff and a few of their special digital coupons. I'm going to go ahead and show you this freezer stuff and my milk so I can get it put up because Lordy, it is hot today. I got two things of ice cream. I got this brookie, which is like a brownie and cookie chocolate. Oh, it's so good. And some chocolate chip cookie dough. These were on a good sale this week. I got one Totino's. I ordered a couple pepperonis, and they tried to give me some of them Kroger brand microwave three-minute pizzas. Those are not good, so I didn't take that. Got a four pack of these Jimmy Dean biscuits. These things are getting crazy expensive. This thing was like $8. I have got to get to cooking the man biscuits and breakfast in the morning. So much cheaper. And a gallon of milk. This is my attempt to not have to go to Walmart this week. <laughs> I've been putting it off, but I need to take like a good Walmart health and beauty kind of haul. But I'm putting it off. So anyhow... Got this big thing of Arm & Hammer. I like this pretty good. I don't hardly like it as well as that Simply Tied, but it'll do. Got some Suavitel Fabric Softener. I got just some really cheap razors. Got a couple of little sticks of deodorant. Some dishwasher packs. Straws and some AIM toothpaste. Didn't have any of the good sales on toothpaste and I'm getting kind of uh, low in there. We really go through the toothpaste. Here's some different shampoos and things I got. I got this one. They didn't have the Ocean Breeze or the Coconut one that Maddie has been liking. But they did have this one. So I got it. The others were all on delivery. I got the Sleek and Smooth Conditioner, but they didn't have it in the shampoo. So I ended up getting this shampoo. I got a pack of toilet paper. Got a couple of these bags of cheese. These are four cups each digital coupon again so i got some mozzarella and i got two bags of mild cheddar i will just put these back in the freezer i say this lots of times but for those of you that are new i don't always buy things when i need them i buy things that i always use when they're at their cheapest price and i freeze them or put them back so that I never have to pay full price. I try not to pay full price for anything. So a lot of times, like I don't have a meal plan up here because I already have what I need for meal plans, mostly. So anyhow, that is just a little explanation there. Got a container of sour cream because they didn't have any chip dip. And I wanted some chip dip, so I'll just make some. And I got a thing of cottage cheese because I have been thinking about that lasagna soup. And I think I used cottage cheese in replace of ricotta in the soup, just like I did my regular lasagna. But anyhow, we'll see what comes out of that. I got three pounds of 
80-20 ground chuck. This was like $10 and something, so I didn't really need it. But I do like to have it for fresh burgers. Hey, I was wanting some fresh burgers. Got a pack of cheese singles. Now we're getting into the lunch kind of stuff. I got a box of Little Debbie fudge rounds, always. The chocolate covered granola bars. These are so good. And I did a boo-boo. I don't know if I did it or if they picked the wrong one. It doesn't matter. These are still good, but I just usually get the chocolate chip. But I bought the variety pack. It's not raisins, so the family will survive. They've got peanut, butter, chocolate chip, chocolate chunk, and s'mores. So they should still be happy with that. Got a box of wheat thins. Got some ding-dongs to go in lunches. Usually, every other grocery trip, I'll throw in a box of tea bags because I don't ever like to be out of tea bags. Taco seasoning because y'all know how I am about taco seasoning. Got a can of this chili sauce because we have had chili buns a few times and want to make sure we got plenty of that. My daughter's favorite little water mixers. She carries one of these in her purse and then there's always one here at home too. You know, the first one goes to work with her. I got Maddie a couple of packs of gum. A couple of packs of this uh, tuna. I like to take that to work and leave it just so I have something. And it's really good. I like it. Got a couple of these. We haven't bought these in a while. And, you know, these are just wonderful to snack on. Throw in your lunches as an afternoon pick-me-up. You get the little cheese. These have breadsticks. These have pretzels. Got a big bag of chips to have with our dip. I got two cans of Pringles. I don't normally buy Pringles unless they were on sale with a coupon, and they were. Fritos were also on sale, and I did not even see the barbecue Fritos this summer. They've been bringing them back in the summer, but I haven't seen them anywhere this year. There's that. Let me know if you have seen the barbecue Fritos. It was a whole deal here a few years back. Like, I researched it. I was emailing them, and yeah, they quit making them, but they've just been bringing them back seasonally. Usually, I can find them at Dollar General, but life's not been the same. So, I've got original, which I just love these because I like salty snacks. I'll just eat them. Plus, it's 100 degrees, but I'm thinking about some chili. I don't know. I'm over here acting like it's November, and I got some chili cheese. Doritos were also on sale, so I grabbed ranch and the nacho cheese. And I just grabbed us some tortilla chips because we always eat those. Two bags of veggie straws, the sea salt, and a loaf of honey wheat bread. Now, this is funny. I've got two bags of like russet potatoes, one here. And this one here, I ordered a five pound bag and they were out. So I, I don't know yet what I paid for those. I will have to look at my receipt. I got two Vidalia onions. I got two little yellow squash. I hadn't had squash in a week or two, and I'm having withdrawals. And I got a orange bell pepper, and I meant to get me a red one, too, because they were like 99 cents, but I forgot. I got just a little crown of broccoli, a good-looking cucumber. We're still getting some out of our little garden, but I always like to have them. We'll eat them. And a really pretty head of iceberg lettuce. I need to look and see who it was that picked my order this time. I don't remember her name. I always try to look because I love her. She's awesome loader and picker, and I always try to tip her very well. She does a great job on picking out subs, and you can see she does a great job on produce picking. You always like it when a woman that cooks picks your produce because, like, she knew I didn't want, like, a giant squash. You want your squash, like, kind of long and slender. She knows that, and I said, too you know, small to medium onions. She did a great job. So shout out to my grocery picker. Here's the drinks I got this week. I don't ever take them on in the house because they just stay out here in this refrigerator in the garage. But I got Patrick five, six packs of Diet Mountain Dew. These were on a digital coupon deal this week. Got three 12 packs of the Dr. K Zero Sugar. That's like Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. And two 24 pack cases of water. So that wraps up this grocery haul. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Maybe got some ideas on the way that I shop that might help you save some money too. 
If you did, I'd love it if you stuck around. And I'm going to throw two playlists up on the screen tonight, a grocery haul and a what's for dinner. I hope if you're new here that you'll check some of them out and let me know what you think. And until next time, as always, I send you love from my kitchen. Have a great week.